Chapter 8 First Fruits Xu Fengyan flung the tightly bound Yu Yu Wei onto the grand bed in the inner chamber, then proceeded to feed her the Yuni powder. The drug would revive an unconscious female while making her body supple and devoid of strength, like an amorous resin. She would not even be able to bite her own tongue in despair, though still perfectly capable of moaning and purring. Two hours later, Xu Fengyan caressed Yu Xuanji's fair slender legs with only the last layer of a fleece undergarment between them. After another hour of cruel teasing, he removed his own clothing and lay beside Yu Xuanji, nibbling her earlobe. The belle's skin was now drenched in glistening sweat, her eyes blurry with tears. She bit her lips so hard it oozed blood. Xu Fengyan whispered in her ear, Gazing upon the city walls, sword dance, the Xiangying Academy, follow the breadcrumbs, as they say. I don't believe I can't dig out your mysterious origins with the might of Northern Liang Palace behind me. Only a matter of time before I destroy everything you hold dear. And oh, Empress, I'll get up right now and smash it in your face, then feed it to hungry, wild dogs. Yu Xuanji fainted. Xu Fengyan slapped the oiren awake, sneering icily. Fancy eating a bun made of empress meat? Yu Xuanji let out hoarse sobs as she began crying. Xu Fengyan rolled her eyes and said, Just fibbing. I'm not killing empress. She stared blankly at Xu Fengyan and said in a deflated tone, I'll be your slave. From today onwards, I'm simply you in your way. A blank slate. It was a moonlit night, unfettered with stars. Two people slowly walked up to the tower entrance of the Qingchao Pavilion. They were Lord Xu, the Grand Consul, and the White Foxface, dragged in by Xu Fengyan. Lord Xu remarked with a chuckle, Mr. Nengong, I'm letting you inside this building in exchange for saving Feng Yen. By all accounts, it's a win-win deal for me. White Foxface did not reply. Entering the first floor, Lord Xu chortled and gave an introduction. The Western Hall of this floor showcases 30,000 volumes of introductory martial arts from all over the world. Nothing valuable. The second floor is a hidden floor, containing 4,000 rare books on the art of Yin Yang and the art of Zong Hong, and 49 extraordinary weapons from across the world. The third floor has 20,000 prized tomes and secret manuscripts. Whereas the fourth floor is another concealed trove containing ancient artifacts and wondrous stones. The fifth and sixth floor have items coveted by eminent fighters. And further up, we have stuff that even the average skilled fighter would struggle to understand. As for the top floor, there's nothing there. Mr. Nengong, if you wish to find a high spot offering a vantage point, you may go to the Baihui Tower on the mountain peak to soak in the glorious scenery. White Foxface caught the unspoken message behind the Grand Consul's words and nodded. With a smile, Lord Xu asked, So, shall we head straight to the fourth floor? White Foxface shook her head. Once you go up there, you might forever lose interest in perusing the 60,000 books on the floors below. With a guffaw, Lord Xu went up to the eighth floor on his own. An aged man was sitting on the floor here his hair unruly 
in his face as pallid as snow, his hand scribbling furiously. Lord Shu was apologetic. I was in a hurry and forgot to bring the booze. I will have Fang Yen top it up when I get back. I cannot rest easy until there's a prime first grade grandmaster guarding the palace here. Hopefully, this Nengong Puyue doesn't disappoint. I haven't gotten anything on him even till now, so looks like he can only be someone from Northern Han. Yishan, what do you reckon this current grade is? The emaciated looking man spoke. Sub first grade. Give him a decade of training here and he could be standing above all others with no one better. The Grand Consul clucked his tongue. Fang Nian hit the jackpot. Lord Xu got on his feet and looked up toward the Sages of the Earth painting on the southern wall. Folding his hands, he spoke with a knitted brow. Yishan, Fang Nian is taking over in no time and his coming-of-age ceremony is imminent. Give him a courtesy name, won't you?" The man gave it some thought. Xu Feng Nian. Courtesy name... Wolfgang. A wolf on a divine path. Grand Consul Xu Xiao suddenly let rip a roaring laugh, evidently welling up with pride.